Hospital Radio has been live in Eastbourne for 67 years, with equipment starting very basic, with a three-channel mixer, two record decks and a single microphone. The word got around that Radio DGH was born through East Sussex NHS Healthcare Trust and Friends of Eastbourne. I spoke to Sean Crowhurst, Programme Controller for Radio DGH, and he told us why Radio DGH has been beneficial. Uh, to, to aid patients' recovery, um, that is why we are there basically for the patients within the hospital it's to be a friend by your bedside if you want to call it that um and it's to help them rehabilitate through music if you like sean continued to say how an advance in equipment and how the ability to broadcast online has changed radio dgh for the better so last november we went online uh here at radio dgh beforehand we were just broadcasting to the patients within the district general hospital so obviously we weren't broadcasting to many people now we are online we're also available on the TuneIn app as well which you can download to your mobile and since then not only has our listenership expanded but we've also gained new interest through sponsors we've also gained new interest through new volunteers and we've generally managed to raise awareness massively within the local area and beyond uh, there are many different variety of uh, or ma- many different variety of roles that we have for here at the station that need fulfilling uh, presenting which is what I'm doing now uh, you can also be a program assistant we are looking for people that work behind the scenes as well so from a technical aspect engineering aspect as well uh, also people to get involved with social media and fundraising is another really big one that we are looking for people to get involved with as well Loads of different ways you can get in touch with us as well about getting involved to join us. You can telephone us, you can social media, uh, you can find us on social media, sorry. Uh, Facebook and Twitter are on there. You can also contact us directly via the website, radiodgh.com. And you can also email us as well, recruitment at radiodgh.com. Without such important support from donations, fundraisers and volunteers, Radio DGH could not and cannot exist. I've been Georgia Hill, Brighton Broadcaster News.